Welcome to Vinay Academy. Myself Deepak Krishna Bhayam, MA Structural Engineering AMI. So today we are going to see another test for the fresh concrete. Alright. So today we are going to see a test called the BB test. It is also known as the BB consistometer test. So in this lesson we are going to see how it is performed, what are the important basic facts, what are the results and what are the inference that we get from this test. So please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel of Vinay Academy and also follow us via other platforms like the official app and the website of Vinay Academy. So let's start. Hello everyone, good to see you, hope you're having a great day. So we are back again with another lesson in the fresh concrete, alright. So previously we have seen how bleeding can be tested, how some of the tests for the workability. So today we are back with yet again with another test on the workability of concrete, the VB test. This test is also known as the VB consistometer test in some books, so both are the same, please don't get confused, alright. Now let's move on to the chapter. Now let's see first and foremost, let's see some of the basic facts about the test. So why we are uh, looking for the basic facts is that it will help to uh, crack some of the viva questions that can be, you can anticipate in your viva examinations and also some of the, and it will be helpful for you in your university exams too, alright. So let's see some of the basic facts. So as I say always, uh, I'm repeating it again, uh, any laboratorical experiment or any recognized experiment should be based on some uh, some guidelines provided by a recognized institution from the country. So this test follows the IS 1199 1959 code book. All right. Uh, so what is this test is all about? So workability of a fresh concrete is a very complex property. Okay, that means uh, it's very easy to understand, but it's very easy to uh, you know to explain because it covers a lot of areas like stability, mobility, compactability, placeability, finishability, transportability. Everywhere you see there is a ch there is a uh, glimpse of workability all of the places, but each of these terms has its own individualities, and also the workability as such also also has its own individuality. All right, so there is no test actually to provide the. Uh, the measure, the correct measure of workability as a whole. Okay, so this test indicates the, give the indication for the mobility and also to some extent the compactability of the concrete. All right. Now, what is mobility? That means the e e easiness in to change from one position to another. All right, and also compactability. Compactability is the extent of compaction. Okay, in plain words. Now, this what this uh, test do? That is, this test measures the relative effort required to change a mass of concrete from one definite shape to another. All right, that means this measures how easily or how difficult for a mass of sample of concrete to change from a one position to another or from one definite shape to another. All right, so this effort or this easiness or this stuff or this difficulty is known as the remolding effort and this is measured in seconds and it is expressed in VB seconds. Okay, expressed as VB seconds. So this is the unit VB seconds. All right. So, uh, it is suitable for dry mixes, alright, so this test is really suitable for dry mixes where slum cone test doesn't provide anything and also up to the slump, of, slump value of 50 mm. Why 50 mm? Because excess of 50 mm slump value, the remolding effort will be so quick that we won't be able to get the correct time, okay. The time cannot be recorded by using, by the, by using this test. So up to 50 mm slump, this test is a very good one. Okay, now let's move on to the topic or the test itself. So let's see what are the apparatus required. First and foremost, the VB apparatus. Okay, so this apparatus consists of a vibrator table which is electrically connected and also a slump cone. Okay, so I hope you know what slump cone is, the cone that is uh, used for the slump test. Also, or, um, so dimensions of the cone are the bottom diameter will be 20 centimeter, top diameter will be 10 centimeter, and the height will be 30 centimeter. Okay. Uh, I'll explain more about the apparatus in my ne very next slide, right? Now the cylindrical container, we need a cylindrical container for it. A tamping rod which length is 60 centimeter, diameter of 16 mm. Stopwatch for measuring the seconds and also travel for leveling and cleaning. Now this is the entire setup for the VB test. Okay, so we have the, this is the entire setup. And this is the base, and this is the vibrator table. The dimensions are provided here. Uh, this is the cylinder. Okay, I've made it as a cone, but you, s you see in this val in this view we can see it like a, a cuboid or something. And that's a cylinder actually. Okay, please understand that's a cylinder, and cylindrical container to be precise. And this 
is the cone okay this is the slump cone or the conical mold that we are going to use in this test the dimensions are provided here and we have a funnel over here they have a glass disc and all these things are connected to a swivel arm to the apparatus okay so that's the major components of the setup so i hope you understand how the setup goes on now let's move on to the procedure actually so the procedure first and foremost clean the entire mold as well as the cylindrical container grease it and dry it and grease it okay why are we doing this that it does it has to be cleaned first and also there should not be any extra moisture present inside the uh, cylinder especially the conical mold okay the, because that's the one we are going to pull up all right so so that's it we need just clean it grease it that's it now place the cylinder now everything is over now place the cylinder on the vibratory table okay and uh, uh, and in the cylinder place the mold okay place the mold firmly over there and also before placing the mold please uh, connect the cylinder to the vibratory table that means lock the cylinder to, cylinder to the vibratory vibratory table by using the fasteners so or using the clips provided on the vibrator all right vibratory table and after that you place the mold in the cylinder okay that's it now just like in the slum cone test fill the mold fill the mold i mean fill the conical mold by concrete in four layers okay we can you, you can do it in three layers but four layers means the compact should be really good okay so first layer you put the, you place the first layer and you compact it 25 times by using the tamping rod second layer compact it 25 times using the tamping rod third layer fourth layer compact it okay so just like that for each layer we have to provide 25 tampings all right and also this compaction this tamping should be uniformly distributed to the entire mass of the concrete all right so that means the rod has to be go really deep and also it has to be spread all over the matrix so that's how we have to compact and now that's uh, compaction is over now remove remove the now remove the excess that means the excess concrete that is flowing to, from the top and bottom of the uh, conical mold clean it nicely and level the top of the cone by using a trowel so that's it the setup is done now it's time to actually do the experiment okay now before that the, you have i hope you have remember the glass disc that has been attached to the cylinder with along with the swivel arm now re, uh, place that glass disc above the cone okay it is attached it is positioned in such a way that it just uh, touches the top of the cone all right now after this uh, take the reading of the graduated rod that has been attached to the swivel arm okay let that be a that is the initial reading okay after that remove th after that just like the slump cone test remove the conical mold immediately how it is done it is done by pulling it upwards okay uniformly okay pull the cone upwards uniformly at the same time after pulling it up the the, the slump will be formed and we can well, maybe it's a true slump whatever it is now note down the reading on the uh, graduated glass rod let that be b that's the final reading okay now now the we got the slump value right now that means that both uh, two extremes of the slump value and the slump value is the final reading minus the initial reading okay that is uh, b minus a now get ready now after this now we are going to actually do the vibrated test okay so first and foremost get ready with your stopwatch okay put the stopwatch in zero and get ready your fingers on the start button okay as soon as the vibrator switch is on switch on the stopwatch okay so vibrator switch is on stopwatch switch is on simultaneously now vibrator is on vibrator is getting uh, provide vibration is getting provided into the mold and vibrator is switched off right when that conical shaped slump turn into the cylindrical shape that means the top layer of the slump comes down and becomes the correct the cylinders the the circle on the level up to the horizontal level okay so when it becomes a level in the horizontal way horizontal plane the vibrator switch off and simultaneously you stop the stopwatch okay vibrator switch off uh, stopping of the st uh, stopwatch simultaneously is carried out okay now measure the seconds how many seconds is taken okay so that's the vb seconds so that's how it is done so that's the result so to get the slump value just my just subtract the final reading of the rod with the initial reading that is b minus a and the seconds we get there is called the vb seconds or it is known as the consistency of the concrete in seconds okay now let's see some of the inference that we get from the result so these are workable descriptions and this is the vb time so vb time is the time that we measured in seconds right now so if the mix is extra dry if the sec the 
uh, time frame is fall in between this range of seconds it's called as the extra dry if it is if it is in between 18 to 10 it is called as very stiff 10 to 5 it is known as stiff 5 to 3 is known as stiff plastic 3 to 10 is known as plastic flowing that we cannot measure the time so that's all for today i hope you understand the vb test so if you have any doubts about this test you can put in the comment section i I'm waiting for that actually. Please comment your suggestions. Please read my presentation, recommend and share the slides. And this is my profile to the N Academy app that I've done a lot of works on the, I put a lot of lessons based on the basic constituents in the concrete, that is the coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, and cement. And also all the basic tests for both, all the three are uh, carried out, are explained over there in the simplest form. You can check that too. And thank you once again for your time. Thank you being a good listener. I wish you a great day. Ciao.